20, listen, 20 million, 100 million, mm. or even 200 million doesn't change my lifestyle. You need to understand. I'm a man that gets on his hands and knees and put his head on the floor five times a day. I'm humble. Ain't about that. So we are still fundraising for Yemen in collaboration with Ummah Welfare Trust. We've reached just over 55,000 of our 60,000 target. May I reward everyone that's donated. Yemen has kind of taken a back seat of late with funding and aid not quite reaching it and it's seriously underfunded. It's still described as the worst humanitarian crisis with over 20 million people on the brink of starvation. But enough from me, I'm gonna let Prince Nazim Hamid talk about it and I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Help us reach 60K, inshallah. I was gonna ask Str if you miss it. Strange, stranger things have happened, yeah. What, are you suggesting that you might come out strange, of retirement? Stranger things have happened. Would you fight again? God willing. Um, Naz, look I'm, at me. I'm <laughs> Naz, um, look, I'm over uh, here. Naz. Li listen, Naz. <laughs> firstly, let me say one thing to you. I, I've set my legacy in an amazing way in this boxing world and took it to the dizzy heights of boxing. You know that. It's hard for anybody to, to reach that kind of level. But... Um, I'm from, I believe, a country that, that's not well off. My parents are from a country, I should say, they're from Yemen. And I would fight for that country in regards of doing something for that country, do, to do something for me and for them in charity-wise. That's... For what they've been through, and the same as Palestine, and we stand for Palestine, man. For what they've been through in the past, I don't know. God willing, he makes it easy for them, easier. Because it's been, it's been bad, man. It's been dreadful. And that's why when I look at the Middle East and what's happening in the Middle East, as a father now, it hits my heart what's happening in the Middle East and what's happened in Palestine and what's happening in Yemen and, and you know, the poverty and... It's just, that's the only time that that really deep down in my heart that I'd want to fight to do something on that basis. So I'd love to go into training and go, and go into training regardless and just, you know, you never know. If, if we could do, like me and my three sons, be all on one card in the Middle East, um, that, that would be one of my dreams. So if Jake Paul offered you 20 million, you'd fight him? Jake Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Jake, Jake Paul don't mean nothing to me. No, but I'm just saying you would come out of retirement for 20 million. 20 million? What's 20 million? Is that, do you want more? I mean, I don't know how much Denny's promised you. But uh, <laughs> no. 20, listen, 20 million, 100 million, mm. or even 200 million doesn't change my lifestyle. You need to understand. I'm a man that gets on his hands and knees and puts his head on the floor five times a day. I'm humble. Ain't about that. Okay. So you need to understand something. Fighting for a country, for somebody to do well, for somebody to raise money, an obscene amount of money, then I could think about that. Okay. And I, I could get out of bed and do some serious training and get fit and maybe do it for that, yes. 